Hello everyone, this is Teacher Tantan and today I am going to discuss with you the table of specification. You know, classroom tests provide teachers with essential information used to make decisions about instruction and student grades. Now, TOS or the table of specification plays a significant role in making a valid and reliable test question. In this session, we are going to talk about the definition importance and the preparation of the TOS. Now these are the objectives of today's session. Define table of specification, discuss the importance of TOS in test construction, and construct a table of specification. Now to start, what is a table of specification? TOS is a plan prepared by a classroom teacher as basis for test construction. If engineers have their blueprints in building construction, us teachers also have this plan. We call it the test blueprint. Diba no matter how small or big a house is, it needs a plan. Otherwise, constructions will be unorganized, weak, not reliable. The same goes in making classroom tests. It is also a tool used to ensure that a test measures the content and thinking skills that the test intends to measure. What is the importance of TOS? TOS ensures that a fair and representative questions appear on the test. Guilty tayo dito minsan, di ba? Kung anong lesson ang madali or yung maraming definitions, doon nakafocus lahat ng questions. For example, we have 50 item test. Halos half of it nakafocus lang sa isang competency. Na measure natin yung isang competency, but how about the other learning competencies? With TOS, nagiging fair ang distribution ng number of test questions based on the length of hours na naituro siya sa mga learners. Next, it improves the validity of teachers' evaluations based on the tests constructed. Pag may TOS, the test questions will be aligned with the learning objectives. Iku-consider mo lagi kung pasok ba yung questions sa skill na dapat matutunan ng students. It makes your evaluations more valid. It also helps teachers identify the type of items they need to include on their tests. For example, if you think na yung questions na nagawa mo measured already a specific skill, Mag-iisip ka naman ng test questions that could measure other learning skills. TOS also provides the teacher with evidence that a test has content validity, that it covers what should be covered, and it helps measure higher thinking skills and lower thinking skills of students. The HATS question is important since this makes the bright students distinct from the rest of the class. Although, there are instances during the exam, especially for some students, the most difficult questions in the test can be very easy, and there are also students who will find the easiest question difficult. Now, what are the things you need to know before constructing a TOS? 1. The TOS requires a thorough knowledge of Bloom's revised taxonomy. What is Bloom's taxonomy? It is a classification of thinking organized by levels of complexity. We have the easy, average, and difficult. It gives teachers and students an opportunity to learn and practice a range of thinking and provides a simple structure for many different kinds of questions. The 1956 Bloom's Taxonomy, Knowledge, Comprehension, Application, Analysis, Synthesis, and Evaluation. This was revised by Anderson and Cratwall in 2001 and used as a measurement tool for thinking. Here is the comparison of the two taxonomies, the 1956 and 2001. What do you notice? Noticeable is the terminology change from knowledge to remembering, comprehension to understanding, application to applying, analysis, analyzing, synthesis, creating, evaluation, 
evaluating. Why? Changes in terms is from noun to verb. Thinking is an active process, therefore verbs are more accurate. Tama din naman. Knowledge is a product of thinking and was inappropriate to describe a category of thinking and was replaced with the word remembering. Comprehension became understanding and synthesis was renamed creating in order to better reflect the nature of the thinking described by each category. So those are the changes in terms. So here is the Bloom's Revised Taxonomy from Level 1. We have remembering, that is recalling information. When your test question measures the recognizing, listing, describing, retrieving, naming, finding skill of the learners, that will fall under remembering. More of like, as a teacher, you know which domain is measured by the questions you made. Level 2, understanding, explaining ideas or concepts. When the test questions allow students to interpret, summarize, paraphrase, classify, and explain, that is understanding. You measure students' comprehension. Level 3, applying, using information in another familiar situation. When the students implement, carry out, use, and execute, that is applying. For higher order thinking skills, which will fall under the average to difficult part, importanting malaman nyo yung mga domains kasi ika-classify nyo yung mga questions nyo as to which domain, domains they will fall. Now, there is a suggested percentage allocation for each domain. Remembering, understanding, and applying fall under easy to average and take up the 70% of the total test items. Analyzing to creating takes the 30% of the total test items. Second of the things you need to know is the creation of a POS table following the standard format. This one. Ito yung standard format ng DepEd. However, I innovated this one na mas simple pero hindi pa din nawawala yung salient parts. I'll show you later. And third, the TOS requires some simple mathematical computation that will result to proportional allocation of test items per topic. How to construct table of specification? First, secure a copy of K-12 curriculum guide and copy the learning competencies allotted for each grading period in the table of specification, like this one. This is the TOS I made for my grade 10 class, Science 10, and here are the learning competencies na naabot ko for quarter 1. Third, allocate the number of hours needed in each learning objectives and the percentage using the formula percent equals number of hours in each objectives divided by the total number of hours times 100, like this one. Learning competency number one was taught in three weeks, and that is equivalent to 15 hours. Learning competency number two, five hours, and learning competency number three is 10 hours. So that is a total of 30 hours. Now, to get the percentage value, uh, 15, the number of hours, divided by the total number of hours, times 100, that is... 50%. 15 divided by 30 times 100 is 50%. Learning competency number 2, 5 divided by 30, that is 17%, and 10 divided by 30 is 33%. Fourth, determine the number of items using the formula. Number of items equals total number of items times percent. Ganito yan. Let's say for learning competency number one, we have 50%. And the total number of test items na gagawin natin is 30. So 30 times 0.50 or the 50% of 30 is 15. 
So the number of test items is 15. 30 times 0.17 or the 17% of 30 is 5. Learning competency number 2, 5 items only. For learning competency number 3, 30 times 0.33 or 33% of 30 is 10. And that is the 30 item test na gagawin nyo. Fifth, mark the learning competencies test questions appropriate for the verbs in each level of ability. And after marking, allocate the number of test items for each topic in each classification of objectives. Follow the 60-30-10% format of the TOS. Ganito yan. So kapag nakagawa na kayo ng test questions per learning competency, i-allocate nyo na kung saan domains or classification of objectives siya magpo-fall. Either remembering, understanding, analyzing, applying, evaluating, and creating. So this format, instead of yung pinakanaunang format natin na meron pang uh, placement of test item, instead of putting another column, ang ginawa ko yung number uh, placement of test items, nilagay ko na kung saan. For example, under remembering, um, question number 1 is under remembering, question number 2 is under understanding, question number 3 is remembering, question number 4 is understanding, remembering, yan. So, ganyan din sa ibang test items para kung sino man yung mag-check ng table of specification nyo and the test items or test paper, hindi siya maguluhan or hindi siya mahirapan mag-check. Kasi sa TOS mismo, makikita niya na kung saan naka-allocate or saan nakalagay yung test question dun sa test paper. 7. Put the total below each row. And number 8. Placement of test items will be determined when the test paper was finished. That is not always the case. Kasi para sa akin, habang ginagawa ko yung TOS, ginagawa ko din yung test questions per um, learning competency. Para at least guided ako kung ano yun yung mga susunod. So anyway, iba-ibang strategy. Pwede nyo nang gawin yung test paper, saka nyo ilagay yung placement of test item. Or para mas madali, habang ginagawa nyo yung TOS, gumagawa din kayo ng test question. Ang allocation niya, 70, 20, 10. Pwede namang 60, 30, 10. It's up to you. So, ganyan lang kadali gumawa ng table of specification. And that's all for today. The fact that you worry about being a good teacher means that you already are one. By Judy Picot. Thank you and God bless us all.